Good morning, my friends. What is look like? How does it look like outside in your area where you are? We have snow as weatherman promise. We have snow and still snowing. So not sure it's going to be for two days or not, but you know, it's white. It's white outside. So here's what we're going to do today. I have no idea actually what we are going to do today. So I created spinner for diamond paintings of my whips. I think I put them all what I have in my whips. If I forgot something, I will add later. But this is pretty much a lot, I will say. <laughs> It's a lot and I think the one that I want to start it's not in my spinner wheel yet uh, oh yeah I forgot my pen to do so I will have to do with my finger to spin so at this point I don't know what we are going to work on today I will spin together with you and then I will go and dig it out canvas wherever this is going to be so let's get started. Let's push the spin and surprise ourselves. And that is oh, Dreamer Design Winter. Okay, that's the one that I have just a few diamonds placed on, I think. So I will go and find that design somewhere in my craft room. <laughs> It's in the box, should be in the box. And diamonds, I think it's already organized. So uh, let me go get the stuff together and we will be working on it. Here's what we are going to work on. Faith Run Deep. Uh, I kind of forgot the name, so I just put in my spinner. Dreamers Winter, it's actually a Christmas image. And it, it is beautiful. Before. There, this is what we are going to work on. It was rolled, so I put my punch hole, hole puncher to keep it down. So we have in here 53 colors with some ABs colors, and this is the only corner that I worked on. Yeah, not much. So it's basically brand new canvas. Let's get started. With this canvas, I don't have much room on my table. It's basically touching glass of my window. Uh, here is the color that we will be working today, at least for now. Uh, I will use right now my Dreamer's Design tray, which usually I like to work with bigger tray. I will use this new pen. Oh no, I have already blue tack in, in here, so I guess I already used this pen before. It's also the pretty one. I like that one. And then uh, I just want to show you how I organize my diamonds. It's in this, like a plastic bin from dollar store, I guess. And just to remind you, if you forgot already, because I think this is only video I created for Dreamers Design Channel, we have in here, we have in here, this AB colors in here. At this point, I don't remember, this is the only AB with this canvas, or we have some more. No, I think this is the only, yeah, only one color AB with this canvas. All right. So, it took me forever to find my diamonds because I organized my craft room so good, so good that I forgot where I put my diamonds. And I put them inside of my new bin that I put my diamonds from brand new canvases. Uh, remember I showed you the white bin uh, that Catherine gave it to me. And I put up there on a top shelf, which you did not see. Uh, I put up there because I thought originally I will use 
for the tools, the extra tools, but I decided to put up there uh, my custom diamond painting uh, gems. And also I put this tray up there from Dreamers because I, it's big, I don't have where to put it. And I forgot, oh my God, I, I look everywhere. I start panic because, you know, here you go, make my wheel spin to create something interesting and I can't find my diamonds. So it took me probably 15 minutes to figure out. Finally, okay, let me just outline where I have to go furthest. This one line. So finally, I figure out where I put them. OMG. That was something. I can tell you that I need magnifier in here. I will not use light, but with magnifier I will place my diamonds a little bit more straight. It's a little bit uh, dark for me in here right now. Looks beautiful and bright on camera though. That's good. And this blue tag, it doesn't work anymore. I will punch a little bit more you know sometimes the blue tag is not easy it's not easy to put because it's so kind of like a strainy right so when I do let me just push it to the pen so let's pretend this on a table and I just like literally put on the straight to the table and just turn in my wax to get this or you can turn pan whatever is comfortable for you to get this wax out because it's, sometimes it's just like no want to cut through but looks like uh, it, that one plastic pink one pen that I have was harder kind of this one not bad this cut through the wax much stronger kind of all right so diamonds is gorgeous of course very uniform and this uh, shade of diamonds doesn't have any sidings because we know sometimes gems have few of the sidings. Now it's been so long that I work with Dreamers Design Canvases that at this point I don't remember. I think this was... Um, part two of the release so it's a volume two I believe so uh, at this point I don't know if they have this canvas in stock or not so I have to go and check it out if uh, yes you will find a link under my video and I see the one diamond in here have a hole in it. Oh, really? Keep falling. Yeah, one one diamond has a. Look at this. Keep falling. Anyway, it's a garbage. That's why it's keep falling away. All right, because this canvas was rolled for a long time, this side of the canvas is kind of crawling up a little bit, so I have to hold it. To keep it down. The layer of glue in here are so thick that my diamonds is just like sink in into those grooves and sometimes I think I feel like it's not straight and my blue tag still coming out now because I overfilled so you have to you have to kind of keep wiping away or it's going to stick to your canvas if you miss diamond and push it down it will stick really hard to your canvas 
and it's hard to take it off. Well, you know, it's nice to get back to this canvas because the one that I already have created, it is such a good feeling when you hold it in your hands because the canvas are so heavy. It is good quality diamonds. And I think they're diamonds now a little bit better than was before. Even before they wasn't that bad. Uh, some of those diamonds, if I remember correct, some of them have those uh, sidings and they in some some point, I think with this release that uh, black diamonds wasn't the same as was in the first release. It was like a feels like it was different quality and different sizes. And I told them I emailed to Dreamers Design and I told them that seems to me like you know make sure they pay attention to the factory where they produce this one because to me Triton diamonds will look different and they assure me that that's the same thing um, as was before so I thought okay I'm not gonna argue maybe it is but then after a while there's lots of a lot of Dreamers Design fans was saying the same thing that like diamonds was really bad, different sizes and just not the same. So I I was right though, and I tried to be as transparent as possible. So with uh, this new releases that they do right now, I have no idea what kind of diamonds up there they were supposed to send me some diamonds to review but they never did so I have no idea so I have no idea and if I'm still a brand ambassador or not anymore <laughs> no contact for a while To be honest, those new designs that they do right now, those girls with kind of like a creepy thing, that's totally not my thing. I do not like that. Not my type of... It's like, it remind me of dolls that Catherine used to have, those dolls with... Uh, creepy hands, um, how do you call them, the skinny legs, not Barbie, but the other one that was with that kind of like a Halloweenish makeup. Um, I forgot, Catherine have a two or three of those dolls, I still have them somewhere in the bin. So th those kind of I don't like, it. that's not, not my style. I like something more elegant. So I guess since I have this canvas now in my roulette, we will do maybe more often. It depends how often this will be get into my roulette spinner but even if it's not get in a spinner I will I will still try to kind of work maybe a little bit more often because this winter image it's same like I work in another uh, Christmas image with uh, DIY shoes I think the one with the birds in the house so I will be a little bit now more often work 
on this one as well because I really love it. I love the image, like I love the artist. I love the style of this canvas, of the quality. So I will be working on this corner. Now let me check if my camera is recording, okay? Because sometimes, well, the last week, no, I think it was this week that I recorded video, sounds like for 30, 23 minutes and I did not, wasn't recording. That was frustrating because I was such a, and cheery spirit was chit chatting and uh, we realized all of a sudden my camera shut down on me. I was like, what is going on? And I did not pay attention on the camera at all. And then I look, it was showing me the um, SD card error. So it wasn't recording absolutely nothing. Okay, so I think I need to pause because my husband right now on the phone very loud. Let's try again. They've been plowing snow all night because we did have a snowfall. It's now trying to sleep and people calling. Disturbing. see one more diamond with the hole it's the old depth blend maybe this holes creating on these diamonds because this is not recycled plastic maybe because it's a softer plastic I have no idea oh see this glue is so slippery because it's a thick layer okay Feels like I need to be a little bit more careful to work on this canvas because diamonds slip in very easy. That's why well, it's kind of good because then you can twitch them later to make them nice and straight. Um, all right, so I kind of did this little create. Uh, maybe let's do a couple more lines a little bit more higher in here and then I thinking that maybe I will switch to one more color to see and we will work on a symbol number one as you can tell we have lots of these colors in here so we will be seeing a couple more shades and forgive some noises in the background It's kind of awkward after Christmas work on a Christmas images, which you would think, why is it awkward if we after summer work on a summer images and flowers and all that stuff? So it's kind of same thing, but it feels different. I don't know why. And this canvas, by the way, you see like this uh, second part of the canvases. Uh, they start to make you know, with this little extra border all the way around that is sticky but see I was trying to see if it's sticky and my little blue tag already stuck in here now I don't know if I can get it or get it. it's just gonna make it more mess anyway this little line actually good because it will be more comfortable to frame and fit nicer frame next to your diamonds so I like this future I feel like my diamonds all over place doesn't want to be like very very straight is it? 
or this is just me you know it looks like pretty messy here anyway when I will place later like a symbol R next to them then I will push them up and down or maybe even diamonds moved by being sitting wrapped in a box because when you have a gaps without diamonds then is uh, you know if you have like a canvas that it's a good layer of glue and it's kind of slippery the diamonds can move from side to side a little bit because they have a room for it and my husband again on the phone my goodness this is very painful recording video i have to say because then i have to stop because body decided move from sofa to the floor so i paused it all right i will change diamonds to symbol number one and we will work a little bit on this place we will start again kind of from the corner and moving on and here's the my next color and i have to say that i see right now one diamond with the whole um here is one more so this was long time ago uh let me know this is something black marking on it you're not gonna place it there's another little hole in here yeah if you order lately diamond paintings let me know if their diamonds quality improve even more or not i would love to know because i did not order any from this recent releases so i have no idea if they are good or not okay so give me some updates my friends because you the one who definitely will tell me the truth about diamonds quality because you are the customer of them so you have to make sure you have good as you expect to receive But I kind of, you know, right now I don't worry about because it should be some leftovers. Hopefully they added more percentage of diamonds for to be like leftovers. I don't know. Because this canvas will sit in, in my house for a while. So here it look how they look like. No, diamonds looks good together. I just not placing them very like perfect so i i'm i'm not perfect at all i'm not perfect at all i'm just like on the edge of my table which is also not very comfortable and i can see that this diamond's a little bit a little bit move definitely move so yeah it is a slippery canvas because it's a thick layer of glue to blame and because i didn't work on it for a long and diamond just moves to the gaps where there is no diamonds placed. When your diamonds already on a canvas, that they will go nowhere. When I was uh, doing my diamonds uh, organizing and stuff, uh, usually I keep my diamond painting from Dreamers Design in an original box. If it's not uh, framed, I do have one framed only. Uh, and diamond stays strong I have one framed from the the woods with the waterfalls uh, no 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 not that one uh, woods of the pine trees that I told you that it looks like a little bit like a back home for me when we go to pick up some mushrooms to eat wild mushrooms they are yummy and our woods looks like um, I even have some pictures this video will be very chopped uh, lots of stops but there is bother me i put my diamonds in a bigger tray because i can't kind of work with the smaller tray because it doesn't line up properly so i see when i put more diamonds there's so many of them with like 
Look at this holes inside. That's a big holes in here. And I will pick them up from a tray because definitely I'm not going to place them on my canvas. And I see a lot of those kind of diamonds. Well, this is a older canvas, so I don't know. I hope they don't have this kind of diamonds right now with new releases. So please, if you have some, I know lots of you have a newest one. Let me know if diamonds good or not, because this is something definitely I do not like to have. That's a lot, actually. And who knows how many more I will have them inside of the bag. But this is something it's I'm not used to, to have because lately when we have unboxings with you with those cheaper companies, we don't have any holes ever anymore. And because, of course, quality of the diamonds different because the one, the cheaper one that we uh, receive and with you, they are from recycled plastic. This is like two stuck together. Can you separate them? No, yeah, we do. Uh, but this one is from not recycled plastic. Maybe you're thinking, maybe that is why we have some holes because it's a softer, maybe plastic. I don't know. But this is definitely something that I do not like. Okay, I have to get them out first. So accidentally, because some of them like right on the side of the diamond, some on the top. Okay, I think I got now most of them. So just from this time, I collected, look how many. So. And I already put a few into the trash can. So hopefully we will have enough diamonds in here to actually not to run out of the color, right? Uh, yeah. And I have in here, is that the same ones? Let me check. 43, 43, yeah, 43. I have another like two big bags of diamonds in here, so... Hopefully, we're not going to have any problems later. Alright, I think I will continue now. We will move a little bit canvas into the position. I'm not going to record this for too long because this is not very best day, I guess, for me to record. I told you I will have some problems recording because of the phone distraction and everything else will be. So you have to forgive me this kind of days. All right, so now when I go place my diamonds around in here at the same time, I will try, oh, try to make my diamonds a little bit better. Keep rubbing my wax off. If I will place this with one blazer only, ooh, it's gonna take me a while to work on it. But, or to rush. It will be done by next Christmas, right? Why not? <laughs> we have lots of time to create this before next Christmas. And definitely I will put next Christmas my winter projects on a wall. I will try through the summer some of them to frame. Uh, usually I go in the summer to look for example, like garage sales or liquidation stores for some good cheap frames. Because sometimes you can buy frame like I did in a Value Village frame for 
15 dollars or even 10 dollars and some of those frames if you would frame a custom exactly same frame could cost you 200 dollars so it's good to go to uh, value village and other stuff that people give away stuff for free and they resell for profit it's supposed to be given to poor but that that's the good the way to go and find some good fancy frame I regret I didn't buy more frames from a dollar store when I had the chance of this poster uh, frames that Catherine did her nutcracker that actually picture still hanging here on the wall because I asked Catherine should we take this off or not she's like oh leave it for now so of course it's not gonna be there all summer uh, I will try to maybe not to waste my poster frame what I will do I will take this diamond painting away and put inside something for the summer so that's the good thing to if you if you buy in a uh, frame don't make a seal shot make this reusable so you can change your diamond paintings by the seasons and uh, that's what I will do because if I will frame too many in a frame where will I store them for example if it's a Christmas one well if it's nicely framed and looking good they can sit on your wall the whole year around if you wish to right because if you have for example some art that you purchased a long time ago and it's a uh, Christmas it's not like you're taking down for the summer it's probably on your wall all year round uh, but I will I will change uh, something in here that is um, something maybe my roses will fit in that canvas I don't know okay even this one if you can look the diamonds that I just placed this one bigger diamonds and this one is much smaller yeah very different size but I'm just gonna leave it here if it's bother me later then I will switch just next to smaller diamond I put bigger one on the top and it's kind of like even up because some diamonds and they look look even but time from time it could be a little bit different sizing and for the grand finale just to finish up our video today I have a million of pieces to put together <laughs> this was really distracted video but look at these diamonds on the end that we will place with you they are so gorgeous let me put light a little bit on that tray just a minute look at the sparkle in here so pretty right and my phone already ran again okay that's it i'm giving up an answer oh there you go the sparkles so this is what we're going to place i turn it off my light right now so we don't have a distraction with the camera and this diamonds is the best to place with the tweezers so let's let's try yeah and see how we do I will place it right in here one at a time because it is gorgeous the best diamonds ever yeah their, their AB diamonds are super good and for those who did not know they do now have diamond paintings in round gems because used to be 
they did not know if they will produce or not round diamonds so they do that because when they started there was only square and that's it so for those who don't like to work with square diamonds you definitely can order with round diamonds oh it's just like a pieces of gold placing on a canvas so pretty so on this sparkle note we will finish video for today I know it's going to be a short video it took me a long time to record not only okay not only I couldn't find my diamonds but at the same time it took me forever to record this half an hour video I don't know how long now this video will be because it's all in pieces now you see that I'm missing one arrow right in each side because I can get close to my um, diamond because it's like it would be touching diamonds with which this tweezers is not bad you can get with them very close uh, let's try it kind of you can put a little bit pushy or you can just usually this kind of diamonds I usually put just with my regular pen not regular pen diamond painting tool okay pen or you can use it like this slowly So what do you think about a roulette idea to do this all the time? Would this be something fun for you? Or this will kind of push from some kind of project that should be work first on it? Let me know if this was fun or not that even I did not know what I'm going to work on. I think it's some kind of fun in this. Alright, this is it for this little area of this diamond. So now let me lift it up canvas a little bit just to show you how they look on the canvas. Of course, we can add some extra sparkle. Oh, the glue are so shiny. Well, here we go. Look how beautiful they sparkle. Let me even bring you a little bit. Can we get close enough? Oh, it's going to be probably after focus. But it's so sparkle no definitely a little bit of the focus simple glow so this is so far what we have in here with you a little bit of this corner so next time I will work more on this corner scene without light we can see where diamonds placed and this is the corner so far what we have and I will be continue working somewhere in here to go a little bit further, maybe like 8 inches, go to the side and go up and continue up so I can roll this canvas later and unroll the other side. So I will be working like a sideway maybe a little bit later or I will go this way all the way down and then flip canvas on another side and do again from the bottom so that way kind of like I will work on half of the canvas but kind of in section as much as I can reach so I still work in cross country as always that's my favorite thing to do thank you so much everybody for staying with me today and I will see you tomorrow in something new